Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made my DIY designer candles. So this is a very easy way to glamify your bedroom and bump it up in terms of decor without breaking your budget. So this will honestly take you less than $3 to make. So let me show you guys what you guys are gonna be needing. That way you guys can get your things ready and we can, you know, get into this video. So I have these two styles here and these two in the large pillars. And then in the smaller pillars, I have the Chanel and Prada. And these two I leave in my restroom for decor, whereas the four tall pillars I have in my living room for decor. Um, this time I went ahead and changed up the color because I will be adding these to my bedroom. Um, I'll probably be changing out some of these as well because my daughter did drop one of them and it kind of broke the corner, but that'll be later on. However, I got these. These are a little you know, smaller than the large pillar, but they are bigger than the small pillar. So it's about a medium size. I paid $1.97 for both of these. $1.97 each. Don't let me confuse you. $1.97 each for both of these at Walmart. Now, for the large pillars, I purchased them at Walmart as well. However, I had gotten the pack of three. And these are the unscented um, mainstays pillar candles in the shade ivory so these two are the singles and they are the mainstay pillar candles and they are in white now the smaller ones also came in a three pack and they were also the mainstays unscented candles and these were also in ivory so that is um, where I have them in my house and the sizing. Now, you're going to be needing your candles, obviously. Whatever size you would like, you can uh, make the candles out of. Now, the next thing you're going to be needing is these printouts. So, if you go on uh, Google and you search up whatever designer um, that you would like, and then it'll go to images and it'll show you all the images that you can print out. So then I did that and I got my printouts. Now, I'm just going to show you guys a little something that I did. So, so I have actually had these candles for about four years now. Um, I originally did them back when I lived in an apartment and I have many, many printouts. So the reason I have so many of these is because I used to actually sell them. Um, I might be selling them again. I don't know. It was just something that I used to do and then I got bored of it and I just didn't want to do it anymore. But I kept my printouts because I was like, if for whatever reason, any of my candles get damaged or broken, I can easily just replace them and I don't have to worry about printing out because I already have it ready to go. If you do have kids around the house, uh, the only thing is it doesn't really get damaged. It only gets damaged if your kids grab it. My daughter was, uh, I think she was like a year old when she dropped them and they were on something high and she knocked them all over. So that is how they broke. But aside from that, they keep their shape. I don't actually burn them. That is why I got them in unscented and why they're so affordable. But these will last you a good amount of time. Like I said, I've had them for years. Um, the only reason I'm making new ones is because I do want to add these to my bedroom. So make sure you have your printouts. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is if you guys pay attention, I have many sides. Oh, I'm showing the wrong side. I have many sizes in all the printouts. Now, that is because... I don't know whether I'm gonna be making um, a large candle, a medium, or a small. So make sure that whenever you make your printouts, you make your printouts in different shapes. I mean, different shapes, I'm sorry, different sizes, so that you can have the right size for any candle that you use. So that is why on that first sheet that I showed you guys, you can see that there are two Chanel's. One is actually a little larger than the other. And that is for the reason that if you have different size candles, you can make it work. Um, so make sure that when you print out one sheet, at least print out a few different ones so that you don't have to waste a sheet of paper and you have a few different sizes that may work for your candles. Um, so you'll be needing those sheets of printouts. You'll also be needing some wax paper and last but not least, a blow dryer. And that is it. You only need four things. And like I said, guys, you can make these candles for under $3. So now that you know everything you're going to be needing, the next thing you do is you basically cut them out just like I have this one. I'm going to be showing you guys when I make mine. But you have to make sure that you cut them out very nicely because when you do, let me see, I have it right here. When you do burn it on, 
it depends on how much white you leave and by white i mean the actual white sheet of the paper how much that will show so i left very minimal of the white and you can barely see it now you don't want to burn it too much onto the candle like i said i'll be showing you guys this right now when i do it but i just need to be very honest with you guys if you put too much heat and burn the candle it will create a hole which i have made the mistake before where i applied too much heat and it kind of made like a hole in the candle so don't do that i made that mistake um but now that you know everything you're going to be needing go get your stuff girl and let's get into this video all right so i have my pillar candle i already cut out a sheet of wax paper right here and i did already cut out and select which design i'll be using so now that i have this ready you need to go ahead and cut this so when you are cutting make sure i should just say it before i actually do it but make sure that you remove as much white as you can now once you guys see me cut mine you will see that there is some white that is in a, inevitable but it's totally okay because it'll blend into the actual candle so don't worry about that but just try not to leave too much of it so you should cut yours similar to this. Whatever it is that you are cutting, make sure that you try to remove as much as white as you can. However, if you guys notice, I left a little section right here to keep the Chanel and the Chanel print together. That way, when I actually heat this onto the candle, it keeps its shape versus it being a little crooked. So I recommend you leave a little connection like that if you are using the actual design and name. Now that I have this ready, let me just go ahead and remove the plastic from the candle. I am also removing the sticker that it has on the bottom. That is very easy to remove. I suggest you do it before you actually put heat onto the candle because once you have applied heat, it is a little tougher to remove this sometimes, but that way you can get the full thing to come off easily. The next thing you need to do is just make sure that you have this very aligned to the center. If you want to shove it up to the top, you totally can. If you want to have it lower at the bottom, you also can. However, I personally just think it looks better at the center. So I go ahead and play around with it until I notice that it is at the center. So it, right there, it is about at the center. Now I go ahead and take my wax paper and I just lay this down on top. So right now I did move. Just be careful that when you actually lay this down to apply heat that you don't let it move. But then we will do this. So now let me actually fix this correctly. So now I have it right at the center. I did go ahead and cut the wax paper to the size of the candle just so that I wouldn't have extra sheet because this was how much I had extra. But now that we have it like this at the center, make sure that you do not let go of your grip on both sides of the wax paper. If you do, this will move when you are applying heat and it will come out crooked. So just make sure that you have a good grip on both sides. I do not recommend that you add tape to this. Just hold it with your hand. It is very simple to do so. Versus applying tape, it may stick the heat onto the tape and get that stuck on here. So don't do that. Um, now that I have a good grip on this, I'm going to take my blow dryer and with the blow dryer, I will be putting it on hot. Ooh, can you guys even see that? I'm sorry. So I'm going to be putting it on hot and on high. You can do it on low, but it won't take, it won't do it as quickly. So when you begin to apply the heat, just make sure that you do not apply too much heat on one section of the candle. If you do so, it will create a hole where it starts to burn the candle. And when you remove the wax, it will be uneven. So just don't apply too much heat out a section at a time. Now, how do you actually know when this begins to stick on? You will notice that the wax paper starts to stick onto the candle. You can tell and notice that when the actual color of the Chanel and the black begins to look like it is sweating. That sweating um, image is kind of just the wax sticking onto the actual candle. And when you remove the wax at the end, you will see that the Chanel sticks on and the wax just comes off easily. I stopped quickly do you guys notice that little air bubble right there so once all the air bubbles are removed that is how you know that sweating image that i was telling you guys about that it is ready so you need to remove all air bubbles out of the candle just as i am doing right now so if you notice that the candle starts sweating which is what i was telling you guys move the candle around so that you are not applying too much heat onto one section of the candle <laughs> So now that it is done, I can go ahead and lift the wax paper. 
and just like that the chanel stays on now what i was telling you guys about removing as much white as you could this is what i'm talking about so you can kind of see the white right here as comparison to if you notice this side where i had removed all the white it's honestly no biggie it doesn't really bother me if you would like to remove that i don't recommend you take a scissor because you might cut the actual design but what you could do is use one one of those stencil cutters and actually cut those out i don't really um care for it too much it doesn't bother me so i'm just gonna leave it like that so if you guys recall in the beginning of the video i did mention i had a second medium pillar candle now i went ahead and made this gucci one here that you guys see but i do recommend that you center everything it just looks a little better um but feel free to make it however you would like Thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys have found it helpful i really wanted to be as detailed as i could so that you guys can make these and not make the mistakes that i made when i had first made my very first set of them now it was only one or two candles that i actually messed up with those holes that i told you guys um but i just wanted to be as detailed as i could i hope you guys found that helpful if by any reason i did not answer something or you found something confusing drop your question below in the comment section and i, I will be sure to answer that for you but that being said if you haven't already please follow me on my instagram my instagram is mua erica 18 subscribe turn on your post notifications and drop your comment as i mentioned but with that being said guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye hey i look better than what i've been through